everybody, it's Ken coming at you again from Fort Hickory. Now today we're going to talk about a topic that's very near and dear to my heart, my personal EDC philosophy. Now I take a much more hard line stance on EDC than most people out there. Uh, I've got a lot of thought and a lot of practice behind my EDC system. Now in this video I'm not only going to lay out my thought process behind putting together my EDC system, I'm also going to give a quick outline of my five layer EDC system. Now, for those of you out there who don't know, EDC stands for Everyday Carry. Now, the Wikipedia definition of Everyday Carry is as follows. EDC refers to a small collection of tools, equipment, and supplies that are carried on a daily basis to assist in tackling situations ranging from the mundane to the disastrous. Basically, it's the stuff you got on you every day. Now, most people who don't think about this type of thing, they have an EDC and they don't even realize it. They've got their wallet, their cell phone, their car keys. Uh, but for those of us who are prepared, your EDC is much more important. Your EDC becomes a set of tools that, in the end, could be the key to your survival. Now, your EDC is the front line of your preparedness. Now, let me say that again because I think it bears repeating. Your EDC is the front line of your preparedness. Now, how so? Okay, say I'm at work and I've got my typical EDC on me doing my regular old everyday things. But I live in Southern California, so God forbid, say there's a super massive earthquake. Like that, my EDC becomes my get home kit. It becomes the tools that I need to get back to my bug in location. So I get home during the disaster and 99.99% of the time that's going to be the end of the situation. But say the disaster was so bad I do have to bug out. So I grab my go bag, but my go bag is layered on top of my EDC. I still have all of the capabilities that my EDC gives me. So my bug out bag works in conjunction with my EDC. Now there's an awful lot of EDC videos out there and hell I've probably seen near all of them and a lot of them have a lot of really good useful ideas in them but most of them are just wall-to-wall -wall garbage they're systems that just haven't been thought through and they're systems that change way more often than they should it seems like some people have a new EDC update video every other week your EDC should be made up of gear that is tried and true gear that gear with which you have a long history and lots of practice. Say there is a disaster, that's not the time when you want to be figuring out the limitations of that cool new piece of gear that you just ordered. Now, I test out new gear all the time, that's totally fine, but the gear I'm testing is on top of my baseline of EDC, not instead of. Now, for that reason, my personal EDC has been in place almost unchanged for years. There's only one piece of gear in my kit that's been with me for less than a year. My gear has been hard tested and has earned my trust over years of everyday use. So what should be in your EDC? Well, now that's going to vary for everybody based on their personal situation. You got to think about things like um, your work situation, your travel situation, your regional climate, wherever you live. Now for me personally, uh, I've built my EDC based on three things. I want to be as useful as possible, as prepared as possible, without being obtrusive. Now I've developed a five layer EDC system. Now I know that sounds like a lot, but check this out. This is my entire EDC, 100% of it. Now the bag is just one layer of that, so you ditch the bag and I've still got four of my five layers of my preparedness on me. Now, what's great about this system is, like I said, it's not bulky. I don't have big bulky pockets, no huge keychains, nothing clipped on the outside of my belt at all. But the best part about it is this system is entirely gray. When I wear this system walking down the street, I don't look like Captain Tactical. I look like Joe Nobody. I'm not a target and I'm not a threat. Now the five layers of my EDC system all work in conjunction with each other. The first layer is the most important and each level after that builds on top of the previous layer. 
each one of those uh, levels of my EDC is going to get its own full review and a separate YouTube video. Uh, but until then, here's a quick list of my five layers. Layer number one is your body and your mind. Your body and your mind is your first line of defense in any situation. Layer number two, your clothing. Shelter is your most pressing survival need and your clothing is your first layer of shelter. Layer number three, the items in your pockets. Now, a lot of EDC videos begin and end at what's in your pockets. For me, that's just one component of my system. Uh, level number four is my bag. My bag's gonna get a thorough go through when we go through the video. And layer number five, my phone. So, folks, that's a little bit of my EDC philosophy. I want to thank everybody out there for your views. Uh, I also love discussion, so please feel free to comment. Also, if you have any ideas on videos that you guys want to see, please let me know. I'm more than happy to throw my two cents in and make another video for you guys. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This is Kent from Fort Hickory. Adios.